Safety lockout is important part of hydraulics work safety. It means making the hydraulic system safe for maintenance and repair work. Loads that are carried by cylinders and motors are supported. Energy sources are separated from the system and locked. Possible remaining pressure is released safely. Finnish law states that the customer who orders the service will be responsible for work safety, including lockout. Large industrial companies like UPM have carefully documented plans and procedures for work safety and lockout. In these cases, the customer has the required expertise and documentation to carry out safety lockout. This is often not the case with smaller businesses and individual entrepreneurs working with machines, and that is when professional skills of service provider and its employees are highlighted. Safety lockout can be performed together with the customer and the customer can have peace of mind regarding liability. Technical execution of safety lockout is always depending on the system in question and it is regulated mostly by common best practices and individual company procedures. As an example, we will follow through safety lockout as it is done at UPM Kaukas Paper Mill. At Kaukas Paper Mill, the safety procedures have evolved over the years and have been refined by practical experiences and needs. At Kaukas Paper Mill, the main tool for work safety is work permit. It is completed together with the mechanic. It ensures that statutory worksite orientation, directives and checklists are done according to customer standards. Safety lockout is one checklist item in work permit. In our example case, a winder station cylinder will be exchanged. When mechanic has arrived, work permit is introduced and worksite orientation is given by UPM representative. Next, the control room is notified of the beginning maintenance work. While hydraulic system is still running, the station is driven to cylinder exchange position. The stem is offloaded by supporting it mechanically, so that the weight of the component will not cause danger when a pressure is released. At the same time, floor is protected for the work. Checking loads that are upheld by cylinders and motors and mechanically supporting them is first of the four parts in safety lockout. Possible consequences for failed safety lockout can be serious from both human and financial perspectives. Crushing between moving parts or under falling load can cause death or serious injury. Damages to machines cause production halts and financial losses. Next we move on to turning off and locking out the pumps. Complexity and size of systems is a special challenge in industrial-scale hydraulics. Also in this case the pumps, valves and automation are in a separate room and power is transmitted by tubes to machine actuators. It is also possible to have multiple systems running simultaneously and there is a need to separate and lock out them one by one while others continue working normally. Pumps are turned off and safety switches are locked. Every switch is locked with a personal lock of both the mechanic and UPM worker. This ensures that accidental start is impossible because unlocking can be done only by mutual agreement. Failure in safety lockout can cause danger of crushing or high pressure oil leaks. Locking is the second part of safety lockout. Next, it is ensured that any stored pressure in the system is released safely. The current system pressure is measured, charge of accumulators is released and pressure is then rechecked. After making sure that pressure has fallen down to zero, the system is now safely separated from energy sources. Safe release of stored pressure is the third part of safety lockout. UPM uses also Check the Hazards leaflet. It has a checklist and the mechanic can make notes regarding common work safety and safety lockout anytime during maintenance work. Work permit has the same checklist and it is reviewed and filled in before the work permit is granted. Now the work permit is completed, signed and granted.
maintenance work can begin. UPM worker marks the hoses before they are disconnected. From now on, mechanic can work independently at the worksite. The environment is protected from oil leaks and actual worksite is cleaned. Hoses are disconnected and plugged and the cylinder can be detached. Always when opening any connector, remember caution and the possibility of residual pressure. Possibility of residual pressure is the fourth part of safety lockout. After completing the work, mechanic cleans the work site and notifies the customer. The site is checked and lockout is cancelled together. Bleeding air from cylinder is done at this point because work and relief pressures must be both on and the shaft at correct position to enable bleeding. Finally, the station is tested by driving it manually to extreme positions. Testing introduces its own hazards if everything is not working normally. Cylinder exchange is now completed safely and efficiently. Finally, the work permit is closed and the control room is notified of ending the work. Dealing with complex industrial hydraulic systems requires knowledge and experience. Dependable maintenance companies and their experienced mechanics are invaluable. Member companies of ProMaint Association are committed to hydraulics work safety at long term. Mechanics go to training courses and learn when working together with more experienced mechanics. Working as a mechanic in hydraulic maintenance does not require qualifications in Finland, so the customer should be well aware how the selected maintenance company is taking care of work safety. Close cooperation of the customer, maintenance company and mechanics guarantees safe and efficient maintenance of hydraulic systems.